Uh, on examination, she had a fever of 101 degree Fahrenheit with a pulse rate of 104 per minute. Hemoglobin, he, she is mildly uh, anemic with hemoglobin of 8.6 and CRP of 67. Fecal calprotectin was significantly high and stool culture uh, and uh, urine investigation was negative for cytomegalovirus and clostridium difficile toxin SCA. So uh, we rule out uh, uh, acute basalic um, colitis as well as clostridium um, uh, pseudomembranous colitis. And so patient is having acute severe ulcerative colitis. Uh, endoscopic assessment was done and it shows confluent deep ulcers up to mid transverse colon. That means she is having pancolitis with E3 disease with complete loss of vascular pattern. That is uh, uh, ulcerative colitis uh, endoscopic active index was 6 out of 8. Histological analysis revealed crypt distortion, cryptitis, cryptapsis with lymphocytic and neutrophilic infiltration. That is suggestive of ulcerative colitis with activity. So the patient was diagnosed with acute severe ulcerative colitis, that is pancolitis, and was started on uh, um, intravenous corticosteroids. By the fifth day of hospitalization, she sh shows some improvement and become apyretic and painless. But stool frequency remains the same with blood present in all the stools. So she is still having severe disease according to the true love and width classification. Therefore, we have three options at that time. We can give biologicals, we can give cyclosporins, and we can give uh, tofazetinib. The treating unit uh, started on with infliximabs, 5 mg per kilogram per day, and it was given on 0, 2, and 6 weeks. After 15 days, patient was free of fractal tenismus and uh, achieved a partial Mayo score of 2. c protein was uh, um, uh, decreased and uh, fecal calprotectin was uh, also reduced. So uh, she showed improvement by giving infliximab. But eight months after starting infliximab, the patient lost response. So this is the problem with infliximab that because of the development of uh, antibodies, patient uh, lose response and does not able to maintain the remission. So thus the infliximab dose was in, maximized to 10 milligram per kilogram per day every six weeks. Four months later, the infliximab levels were uh, normal in the normal end, and the patient was in clinical endoscopic remission. But Uh, sir, I think you have lost connection, sir. No. No. Yeah. Continue, sir. The blood analysis reveals an increased CRP of 17 and fecal calprotectin was again high. Uh, endoscopy revealed um, continuous colonic inflammation with marked erythema, absent vascular pattern, friability. That means she lost the response and again developed a uh, relapse. In this context, it, it was decided to stop infliximab and in, uh, to start in, uh, to fazetinib, 10 milligram twice daily. Six days after treatment, started, the patient was free from pain and has three daily bowel movements without blood and fecal colprotectin also decreased. The induction treatment with to fazetinib went uneventful. Patient does not have any side effect of that. Slight and transitory increase in the lipid profile was observed and no other relevant analytical changes were observed. After eight weeks, the patient was in clinical, endoscopic, and histological remission. For past four months, the patient has been receiving tofazetinib 5 mg twice daily for maintenance and remission. Remains free of symptoms and endoscopic activity. Thank you for your listening. So this is the way we step up the approach with conventional therapy in acute severe ulcerative colitis patient. And then uh, we can choose either cyclosporine, infliximab, or tofazetinib. And uh, in uh, tofacinib is found to be quite effective in such a scenario. Thank you for your patient class.